ஹலோ ஐ ஆம் மணி மலர்வண்ணன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் லுக் இன் டு ஹவு ஏஐ அண்ட் வெப் த்ரீ கேன் ஹெல்ப் மார்க்கெட்டிங் ஏஜென்சிஸ் டு அட்ராக்ட் நியூ கஸ்டமர்ஸ் போத் இன் த வெப் த்ரீ வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இன் த வெப் டூ ஸ்பேஸ் வி வில் ட்ரை டு அனலைஸ் ஹவு மார்க்கெட்டிங் ஏஜென்சிஸ் கேன் யூஸ் த ஏஐ டூல்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜிஸ் டு கெயின் மார்க்கெட் அட்வான்டேஜ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மெயின் திங் த ஏஐ பிரிங்ஸ் அஸ் இஸ் டு analyzing the large volume of data if we are using any of the ai tools like chat gpt or there are hundreds of ai tools and technologies are available if you use any of them then the one main thing that gives you is to analyze individual users data to understand more about each and every individual user and try to understand what exactly they are interested and what you can do as a marketing agency to attract the individual customer for your market offerings say for example if you are developing a marketing campaign um, for a new product launch for your customers then you can use the ai tools to understand individual customers needs and fine tune your marketing campaign to target one particular specific customer like that you can do for multiple different customers so you have the tools available for you to analyze the data and understand individual customer needs and also in the web3 side you can able to get the data from various blockchains and understand what exactly your customers purchased for example if you want to know which nft was purchased by which customer you can able to identify that information again the information in the blockchain is uh, all public but you cannot understand or identify the private user who it is but you can understand the group of users those who are interested uh, in particular nft tokens uh, say you go to a blockchain and understand from the blockchain all the public addresses of customers you cannot understand who the individual user is but if you go to the social media like x or discord or telegram channels you can talk about those users what exactly they are talking about and then you can correlate those informations and try to understand what you are customers are interested in it so all this uh, data analysis an understanding is possible using ai and web3 tools you can use these tools to collect the data and understand about your customers and trying to identify the individual customers needs to sell your products and services i see another important aspect of the ai is the transformative power of the marketing you can personalize your product and service needs for individual customers so the tools are available for you to do the analysis based on the individual customer needs you you don't have to guess work you don't have to send a mass email campaign hoping that uh, some users would click your uh, products and marketing services and trying to subscribe to your newsletter or whatever you are marketing there are uh, various tools available within the ai to understand and target individual customer this helps you to you are create the content for individual customers needs and you can able to fine tune your marketing campaign to attract the individual customers so the convergence of ai and web3 in the web3 it's all the data is open in the public blockchains for example if you are marketing for a service for the ethereum based marketing service you are trying to come up with a new nft for your customers then if you go to the ethereum blockchain you can get all the public data that is available for you so once you get the public data then you can able to understand what are all the different uh, customers those who are uh, talking about a particular nft in various uh, social media channels uh, there are new decentralized social media applications and decentralized advertising platforms are all available you can able to gain individual customers needs by understanding what exactly 
they are posting on the social media platforms and also going to the various decentralized uh, advertising platforms like Brave and Adex. You can identify the individual customer needs and fine tune your marketing campaign to attract the customers. And also uh, you can create a NFT loyalty programs for your customers uh, to attract them. It's basically you create a NFT token for your customers and give them certain uh, loyalty programs. Uh, say if they subscribe to your newsletter or if they subscribe to your products, uh, then you can able to give some incentives for the users those who hold the NFT tokens. You can come up with the entire tokenization mechanism around your product and services, and you can grow the Web3 community using the various Web3 tools. For all those things, you need to have a marketing platform or the tools for you to understand and analyze the data that you collect from the websites in the web 2 side and then in the web 3 side from the uh, from the blockchain and try to integrate those two data to come up with a unique view of the individual user so that you can able to fine tune your marketing campaigns to attract them So impact of AI and Web3 in the marketing strategies, uh, based on the tools and technologies, you need to come up with a unique marketing strategies to attract the customers. Uh, AI-driven personalization tools are available for you to identify the individual customers and personalize your services based on the individual needs. Uh, say, for example, you are collecting all the information uh, that are coming, those the users, those who are coming to your website, and trying to understand what pages they clicked and how much, how long they were there in individual page and what exactly they didn't like and what they like. All the information you can able to collect using various uh, Web2 tools, uh, for example, if you are using Google Analytics, you can collect that information, but that gives you only one side of the story and you cannot understand what they did in the Web3 side and if you are doing a Web3 marketing. And also you cannot understand what exactly they are talking about in their social media platforms. It could be a Facebook or it could be a X, it could be in Discord channel or Telegram channel, whatever the social media platforms you are targeting, you need to collect those data and understand what exactly the users are doing. And also there are uh, new decentralized social media platforms are all coming up. Uh, Streamit and Hive are two popular ones. More and more users are uh, joining these uh, decentralized uh, platforms. Uh, using that, uh, it's not controlled by a single company. Say for example, uh, if you are using Facebook, uh, uh, Meta, they control the entire uh, platform, what needs to be shown, or one fine morning as a user, they can able to block your user registration if you do not uh, fulfill one of their uh, legal requirements. They can able to completely uh, unregister you or lock you from using their platform. But in this uh, new decentralized uh, social media platforms uh, like uh, Steemit and I, it's not possible. All the codes are all written in the blockchain and you as a user, you can able to tell what exactly you like, what exactly you don't like. As a community, you can vote and then based on that, the social media platform has to understand and uh, apply to the rules that are being uh, accepted by all the users within the community. So that's a complete different mindset from using the centralized platforms that we have been currently using in the Web2 world. Now in the Web3, individual users have all the rights and responsibilities so they can see what they want to do within that platform if they don't like the platform then they can move to a different platform different decentralized platform by taking all the users with them so there is no lock-in it's not possible in x or in meta you cannot if you don't like X, uh, you cannot move to Facebook by taking all the users. The users, those who are your followers within X, uh, they will be staying in X. Uh, but in the decentralized platforms, it is possible. So with that, 
there are a lot of uh, as a marketing agency you can do a lot of things to understand users behavior and using the ai tools you can able to do a lot more analysis to understand what exactly the individual users are interested in and fine tune your marketing campaign to attract the individual users So overcoming the security and privacy changes. As you know, there are a lot of uh, privacy requirements uh, that has been created by various countries around the world. Uh, EU has their own, own security restrictions. So what you can do with the user's data and California has their own security and Hong Kong has security regulations. So there's a lot of uh, governments, they have created these security policies. So you need to make sure that whatever tools and technologies you use are not violating any of the, any of the laws that you need to follow. But if you are using the uh, Web3 and the A, if, if you are using Web3 specifically, all the data in pub, public blockchain is are all open. You, as I said earlier, you can get the data, but you cannot pinpoint who the user, real user is because it, you will have the only the public addresses within the blockchain that is being registered. From the public address, you can understand uh, how many tokens they have and how many NFTs they have, all the information, but you cannot know who the public user is. You just have the public address. You still need to understand, you get the user's permission to get the data and then tell what exactly you are going to do with the data. You cannot sell the data. You cannot do whatever you are not supposed to do. So all those things within the Web3, it's possible. Now with the AI tools, you can able to do this analysis and understand individual user to attract them based on their interest. So that's the main difference between Web3 and Web2. In the Web2, just by putting a cookie on their uh, laptop or the device, whichever device they are using browsing, you can able to target advertisements, but that's not possible in the new world. In the Web3, you need to get the customer's uh, in part, you need to get the customer's approval before you can do anything to target marketing for them. So the main trends in 2025 is going to be the decentralized social media platforms. There are more and more users are getting into the Steam It and Hive and there are other new tech platforms, social media platforms are all coming up. So you need to understand how this platform works and you need to understand the user behavior. You as a marketing agency need to understand what exactly the customers are doing, trying to get their attention so that you can able to uh, sell your product and services. And also the NFT integration is going to be the big thing. The more and more brands will start using NFTs um, for loyalty programs to give exclusive content. And also you can able to gamify your entire product and services. Say for example, if you are uh, launching a new service, you can post one, um, uh, one link to that in a decentralized web platforms. Uh, so in decentralized social media platforms like Streamit and Hive, and you can able to see how well the customers are using it. And if they say that whoever registers within two hours, they will get a NFT token. Or you can say come up with uh, within 24 hours, uh, whoever registers, whoever purchases, they get a 75% discount. All those marketing campaigns you can able to do in the web3 world and that trend is going to accelerate even more in 2025 and beyond so you as a marketing agency needs to understand these new tools and technologies so that you can able to gain market share in the web3 world and the same way the web3 content and messaging that's going to rise in the decentralized uh, social media platform so you need to make sure you understand how it works and also you are compliance with the laws various uh, local and international laws so that you can collect the data with users consent and then use the data for your advantage by giving uh, product and services to the individual customers So both AI and blockchain 
enhances the user's experience. So from the marketing agency point of view, you can able to analyze the blockchain data using the various AI tools to understand. And also one of the main difference in the Web3 world is the zero knowledge proofs. You, as I said, if you go to the web uh, blockchain, you can able to understand all the data, you can collect all the data, but you don't know who the user is. You don't know the real user is. So for that, you need to have a user's approval to collect that data. How to do it once they visit your page or your customer's page, you need to collect them. You cannot just like that collect because of the various laws. You need to upfront tell the users what you are going to do with that data and what exactly you are planning to do with the data so that you will get the approval from the users and then collect the data from their website and then you need to collect the data from web2 websites and from the ethereum or any other blockchains to give you a unified view and understand what exactly your customers are interested in so for that there are a lot of uh, machine learning applications ai tools are there uh, to help you to understand those data for your marketing So that's all I want to explain in this video. So as I said, uh, you need to have both the Web2 and Web3 tools. Uh, basically, you need to have a various uh, tools and analytical platform to collect the data to understand it. Uh, and uh, in analytic kit, uh, we have the tools. Uh, if you need more information about our Web2 and Web3 tools, please visit analytickit.com or you can directly go to the dpa.analyticket.com and try to understand what services we offer. You can register and you can start collecting your data from various uh, your websites. And if you are targeting your marketing campaign for Ethereum-based applications, then definitely check out our tool because right now uh, we are supporting Ethereum blockchains and we are working on to support various other blockchains in the near future. But for now, uh, you can definitely do the analysis from the Ethereum blockchain point of view. Thanks for taking time and uh, keeping with me in this presentation. If you have more any questions or concerns, uh, please let me know. And also please help us to grow this channel by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Bye.